the tank top engine was crawling into the engine shed. Went the other engines. They were pleased to see Thomas. Keep the ruddy nose down, said Thomas. Don't you see I've got a hangover? My head feels like a gymnast bum. It's splitting. And a lot more's body, added Gordon. Are you coming into the station, Thomas, to pick up some more jolly folk from the town? Stuff that, said Thomas. I need a drink. Hellfire. I'm halluc hallucinating again, he said with great difficulty. Fill us up, Mr. Water Tank. Brrr, said Thomas, without moving his lips. <laughs> That's your share, Thomas, said the Water Tank. Unless you don't mind taking Gordon's. <laughs> okay, said Thomas, but easy on the bitter lemon. Right, I'm off to the Zidings. Thomas looked forward to his daily trips to the Zidings, even if it was a ruddy silly name for a pub. <laughs> As Thomas pulled up at the Zidings, he saw Jeremy, the pink engine. <laughs> said Jeremy. There's no need to advertise, said Thomas. It was then the fat controller walked onto the track. What's all this locomotion going on? He said, grumpily. Mind your own business, you fat controller, said Thomas. And before you could say the train now standing, Thomas shot forward, running over the fat controller's finger, killing him instantly. Well, he was picking his nose at the time. Just then, Thomas spotted Annie and Clarabelle coming down the track. Cool. Look at the tender behind on that, said Thomas, scratching his guard's van. Hmm, said Jeremy. I don't fancy mine much. Hey up, girls, leered Thomas. Wanna come back to the buffet car for a few bevies or what? Oh, look out, Thomas. Look out. You can pack that lark up straight away, said Jeremy. And threw a bucket of water over them. Uh oh, here comes PC Pullman. What's going on here, Thomas? Have you been drinking? <laughs> no, sir, said Thomas, and promptly threw up. But it all turned out well in the end. Jeremy went off to become a hairdresser, and Thomas was put back on the wagon and sent straight to the Betty Ford scrapyard. <laughs>